Hey guys, Crystal here from Elite Hair Care USA. So today we are doing a texturizer partially um, on my client here. So I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of background in regards to why I said partially and not just a full on texturizer. Tilt back a little bit for me. So her curl pattern on the top, because her hair is finer textured on the top, is already loose. So what you don't want to do is go through and texturize hair that already has the curl pattern, already has the, um, the fine texture. So you're not going to go out and thin that even more. So what we're going to do is basically just work on the root level. This is going to be extremely quick because when you're texturizing hair, you have to be fast. Texturizer is actually done with relaxer, but you have to do it with speed. That is what changes it from a full-on relaxer to a texturizer. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm not going to really talk product that I'm using because, of course, like I always tell you guys, I only speak product with professionals. And because I have no control over who's watching me, I can't really do that. So whenever I'm doing to, um, for me, um, a texturizer, we're going to focus more on her sides and her back. The last area that we're going to touch is the root level um, at the actual crown. So I use my hands when I'm doing a texturizer because I can be extremely quick and get it right where I need it to go and then I'm done. When I'm using the brush, the brush also works to soothe or smooth that hair and I don't want to smooth the hair. I just literally want to manipulate that curl pattern to make it just a little bit more curly, um, a little, I don't want to say thinner, but that's a good description because we're literally defining that curl pattern a little bit more. And then make sure whenever this is for my professionals, whenever you're doing a texturizer, um, that you're not using your nails because then you can go ahead and irritate the scalp, but you do need to have gloves on. And then just a reminder um, for those watching live, this week is the Columbus Day Sale Week where everything is 25% off, no code needed. And then after we do the texturizer, we are going to um, refresh her color. Okay, so at this point, I'm literally going to just go through the roots. So you can use a comb or a brush if you like here, but for speed purposes, I am not going to use anything other than my hands, split it apart. It's almost like I'm oiling because I don't want the hair to be included. And as I said, speed with this service is extremely important. How many times should you texturize? Um, it, that's not really a time to it, it's just whenever needed. So that new growth is gonna come out and then that is when you want to texturize the new growth. But that's something that you definitely need to discuss with your stylist because they know your hair. So they know when it's needed, when it's not manageable, that kind of thing. And also just having a discussion with you where you're saying, hey, it's just not as easy to take care of as it was before, whatever the case may be. So we're almost approaching the time to rinse her, her hair out or rinse out the product itself. So we got to be really, really quick. So you're almost customizing this service. Actually, not even almost. You are customizing this service. This is something that you customize as you go because you're not going to be um, manipulating everything. Tilt down for me now. So all I'm gonna do is just take a wide tooth comb. I'm not rubbing it against the scalp. I'm literally just pulling the hair out to ensure that everything has product on it. And then I'm gonna take her to the bowl and rinse. So the remaining process of this is going to be just like you would a relaxer. You still have to neutralize. You still have to condition. All 
All right, I'm going to have you go over to the shampoo bowl for me. So I'm going to take guys with me. We're going to go over to the shampoo bowl. If I can get there fast enough. I'm going to lift you guys up. Because I'm trying to be quick. Like, I have to really get this rinse out. <laughs> this is not helping me. I'm having some technical difficulties. All right, here we go. Make sure you guys can see. Yes, okay. Come on back for me. All right, so we're gonna use our warm water, of course. Uh, let me see if I can bring you guys up some more. There we go. So warm water, which of course the water does not want to get warm automatically. Ooh, come on, warm water, how are we Okay, there we go. So I'm going to rinse the back first because that is where I was first. So for those of you who have short hair, you can texturize it just to help um, define your curl pattern. You don't always have to just stick with a full-on afro. You can texturize your hair, but you definitely need to go to someone that knows what they're doing and they have speed to them. This is not a service for someone who is very, very slow at application. So we're going to treat it just as though we did a full relaxer service, even though it's a texturizer. You still have to condition. You do still have to neutralize. With this system, I condition first. So the conditioner will sit on for two because the cuticle is wide open. So this is not when you are able to scratch and, and dig through your hair. No, because you're not neutralized yet. Slide down, make yourself comfortable. There you go. All right, so in the meantime of her just having her head back for a minute or so, I'm going to tilt the camera up and then I'll answer any questions that you guys might post it. If I can see them. There we go. So let me go back to some questions. I learned the hard way not to bleach blonde my hair and then relax. My hair fell out. It's growing out healthy now. Absolutely. Color before relaxer does not mix. Shake your handle like that too. I swear I think it makes the water get warmer faster. 
Good morning. All right, I think that was all. Does the hair need to be short to get a texturizer? Um, it doesn't have to be short. It can be longer and you get a texturizer. You can texturize at any point. Okay, cool. I think I got all the questions. Just want to make sure that the conditioner is everywhere. So I didn't texturize this part because you do still want to leave a slight curl pattern. And anywhere that you see the hair is already partially straight or laid, if you put texturizer, AKA um, a very mild relaxer in that area, it's going to go straight. So you have to know where to put it and where not to put it. So we're gonna go ahead and rinse her with warm water. Now, because we are doing a texturizer, even though it is a conditioner, with this service, you still have to rinse it with warm water. Should you texturize fine textured hair? It just depends. Um, for her, the areas of her head that is fine textured, I did not mess with because you run the risk of it going straight too fast. So for those areas, you really don't have to mess with them. Now, some people have um, more than one texture at a time, which is possible. So with her, her sides and back was a little more, um, it was a little more dense and kind of coarse, whereas her top is already fine textured. So that is the reason why we focus more on the sides and the back. Come on back for me. So we're still rinsing with warm water. Going to neutralize one more time with a very small amount now if your hair has is more dense when you do your texturizer um, as stylus then you can shampoo three times but they'll just get faster and faster and faster so you don't want to manipulate the hair too much with the neutralizer in it after about your first or second shampoo that third one is more for just residual purposes and more insurance but because her hair is short I don't really have to do a third shampoo and I'm just rubbing her head no nails and just make sure that you get the nape of the neck which is very important right under the occipital bone and behind the ear all right come on back so you want to just ensure that you rinse thoroughly. I definitely do not recommend texturizing at home. This service requires a lot of heat and precision. So definitely if you are one who wants to maybe tame or um, create a, a better curl pattern, that kind of thing, I definitely go to a stylist because you need someone standing over your head. And while it sounds convenient to do it yourself at home, you run the risk of not actually having a texturizer and then it becomes a relaxer. Come on back to me.
Heavenly. Turn you guys this way. If I can actually turn this thing. I can't. Alright, I'm going to tilt you guys up so you can come along with me. Don't buy me a rock on these. <laughs> that is on your head that is broken. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to get her color ready, in which we're using a semi permanent. So I can use a demi, but I try not to use demis unless absolutely necessary. gloves on now I'm going to base her hairline just for some added protection because whenever you're doing dark colors like this they do stain the skin so I'm just going to add a little base just for some added protection of her hairline So you can sit there. Yeah. All right, so we have our color here. So you always typically want to start with the grayest or most resistant area first. And when I do color, I try to go with the direction that the hair grows. So the actual brush, I kind of turn it in the motion of the hair growing because you don't want a hard line across the face. And now when you're on the interior portion of the head, just make sure that you're parting the hair out because grays and other things can, they hide. While you think you might have saturated, <laughs> and then you go and rinse, am I lying? No. You go and rinse and you see one whole piece that wasn't even touched and you thought you oversaturated it.
And then I always try to do the scalp area first, even though I'm still gonna extend it to the rest of the hair. Keep in mind, the rest of the hair is already pigmented. The scalp is new gray. That is gonna be the most resistant, so that is gonna be the one that you want to put your most attention to. And then everything else, you're gonna catch it anyway, but it's already pre-pigmented from a previous color. So that area is gonna color just fine. So the purpose of a texturizer is to basically, when I'm done, I'll read your question. It kind of just disappeared. So when you get to the crown, that's where you really want to oversaturate. The crown is where all of the gray typically hides at the scalp level. So you wanna make sure you really saturate that area really, really well. So I do smaller partings in the crown. Thank you. All right, so we're almost done. And then I'm gonna show you guys a little technique that I use, especially for clients who have um, gray hair, which is typically the most resistant of all when it comes to hair coloring. So gray hair likes to sit up off of the actual scalp. So the cuticle is raised. It kind of goes like a spider where the body doesn't actually touch the ground, okay? So with gray, you kind of have to force it to lay down into that color so it will process. So sometimes when you do gray coloring, if that hair is sticking off of the actual color, it's not gonna pick anything up. So how do you alleviate that? How do you make that gray hair lay down? Number one, you have to saturate it really, really well. So I'm gonna take my gloves off. And then of course you wanna make sure that you clean any areas that might have color on it that you don't want color to be on. 
because if you don't, then it will stain. Okay, and then I take it's called cling film, but you can also use um, saran wrap. Cling film is made for colorists. This is really made by um, who makes this again? Can't remember. I'll let you know. I can't think of who it is right now. Oh, Framar. Framar makes that. So this is a biodegradable plastic, but you can also use plastic wrap. And I basically pull it all the way around the hairline and I press down the wrap onto the hair. Okay. And I bring it all the way around. So the hairline is where I really want to focus because that is where that gray likes to stick up. So when you do it this way, you don't give that gray any room. Use plastic wrap if you're at home, just doing a touch up with your gray. But you cannot do this with permanent color, guys. This only works with semi-permanent or demi-permanent colors because permanent color does not like a processing cap or plastic of any sort. It has a developer, so it's going to get hot. Semi-permanent color is direct dye only. It's a deposit only color, so it's just a pigment. Okay, so I put that on, and this is gonna serve as her plastic wrap or her processing cap, so I'm not gonna add another processing cap on top of this. And then I'll just use a little bit of color just to kind of hold it down, but you don't have to. I just don't like when it moves around. Okay, and then this will sit on her head for 20 minutes without heat. So you can set your timer. Some people like to put them under the dryer because they want the cuticle to open. But with semi-permanent colors, you can actually make the color more hollow by applying heat. So it's best to just have the client sit in a um, un, you know, unheated, um, at room temperature. There we go. And then their body heat is going to help process this color. But you don't need the dryer to process the color. You're going to open the cuticle and then you're still going to have a hollow shade because that cuticle is wide open and the exterior of that cuticle is what really needs that color. So that's the reason why I just let them process at room temperature. And then the extra layer of plastic is just going to slightly open that cuticle for that gray hair to kind of soften and take in that color. So that's what we're going to do. So she's going to sit for about 20 minutes. And then what I'll do is come back at the end when it's time to just shape her up. So there will be a part two to this live or to this video. So you guys will be able to see the finished product. In the meantime, as I was saying before, don't forget the Hair Care Like a Pro webinar is October the 20th. You still have time to register by going to EliteHairCareUSA.com forward slash shop. And then this week is our Columbus Day sale where everything, including the flat irons, are 25% off. The pricing has already been decreased, so no coupon code is needed, nor can you use an additional coupon code during the sale. So everything is available at EliteHairCareUSA.com. So I'll see you guys um, in part two once we've processed her color because I can't keep you on here for 20 minutes. So I'll see you after her color has processed, and then we'll come back and you guys will be able to see the finished result. I'll see you guys shortly.